Okay. All right, here we are with round four of the challenge. I'm currently two and one. One beat whatever it is in three. Beat um, Monterey Prison three. Got wrecked by Tron. And then also beat... Uh, what else did I beat? I just beat Black White Tokens in one hell of a match. One hell of a match. Whew, that was gas. I'm unmuted. I'm unmuted now, right? Everybody, everybody can hear. Everybody can, you know, check out what the rock's cooking. Oh, Schultz, thanks for the bet. I don't think I thank you for that. All bits matter, man. I don't care if it's one or a million. Okay. So on the die roll. Just gas. Sounds very good. It's not very good. This, this is kind of a mulligan. If we're playing against the Thoughtseize deck, this hand's probably pretty good. This hand's good, not great. I, I over I overemphasized it. Haven't seen humans today. In leagues or in this challenge. Holy shit. No way. <laughs> um, so they kept. So I guess I just take the retract. Right? I think so. It's either the retract or the opal. But they have to play these two artifacts before they can even get the opal down. Let's go like this because we can ditch some of our bad cards. Okay, so we can go like this. And then if I ditch this land, then I've got one, two, three. I still can't angler. So we're going to get Watery Grave. Yeah, when looting's good, it's really good. Like, I, I've, been, I've been very impressed with Faithless Looting. All right, we just smoked the Pure Steel Paladin. And next turn, we get nasty. Okay, so there's an opal with another land. So they drew a land. So they can actually start to repeal their opal to get kind of an engine going. So let's start off with this. Okay. All right, so I should have kept that in my hand in order to loot it away. Um, so we're going to get rid of this, this, uh, this land. I want all my discard spells. Um, my lightning bolt's probably fine. This isn't that good. I'll just get rid of this angler. Yeah. Paying cost. Okay, so they just repealed their mocks. So they have a mox in their hand. All right, off to the races. Paradise Mantle. Rut row. Spire. There's the opal. Repeal the opal. Why would you repeal the paradise mantle in order to get another draw out of it? Okay. So now they draw two cards. Oh, they're equipping. Okay. Rut row.
I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should snap bolt them. Snap bolt this. I'm definitely attacking. I think I should snap bolt this. I'm going to guess that they're, they've kind of bricked. They would have just kept going, I think. So I think I'm going to attack with Gurmag Angler and then snap bolt. Yeah. I think they ran out of gas. Okay. It does appear our opponent is running out of gas. And we'll just, we're not trading this. We're, gonna, we're just going to send in with our guys. And that Snapcaster Mage is a lethal attacker on my next turn. So now we just sit behind a stubborn denial, I guess. And we're just going to stub retract at this point. My opponent holds his pure steel paladin down. We just flash in. We just keep the bear down. Okay. Play their planes. So my opponent flooded out really bad here. Like this has just been egregious for my opponent. So now we just flash Snapcaster and cross our fingers, I think. Keep, what is that? Yeah. Try two, try two dashes. Turn any number of target permits you own to your hand. Aftermath cast the spell from your graveyard, then exile it, discard a number of cards. Return any number of target permits you own to your hand. Aftermath, cast this spell from your graveyard. Discard any number of cards and draw it. Oh, okay. Any number of permanents? So it could be your lands, too. Cheerios. I would assume, yeah. So you're going to repeal my Snapcaster Mage? Yeah. Okay, I think we want Stub. I don't really know what else I want. I don't think I want my Snapcaster Mages. My Snapcaster Mages seem kind of slow. Probably like Vendillion Click's worth it. I don't know if I'm supposed to bring an Artifact Removal, because the only Artifact Removal that matters... Like, this is probably fine because it also kills Saram and those guys. Um, click is, yeah, click is slow. Click is probably slow for the same reason that this is slow. Now, hot question here. I wonder if I'm supposed to bring in Lava Man. Like, how do they win if I have a Lava Man? Like, if I just stick Lava Man on one, how, how do they do anything? And I know that, like, maybe we just want to go fast, and that might not be great, but EE on zero, because you say it just retracts everything. I can buy that. I don't think we need battle range. Now, here's what, I want, what I'm wondering about, is if Lava Man's actually good. Because, like, if you just sit there with a Lava Man and play on one, how do they, how do they get out of that? Ever. You know? Like, if they equipped a bunch of stuff to it, the Lava Man's pretty useless. I'm going to cut my lootings. Cut my... No, I'm not going to cut my lootings. The problem is, if I'm going like, to bring these Lava Man in, I'd have to, like, cut Gurmag Anglers, I think. And Gurmag Angler is like, I need a clock. So I don't think these are ended up, even though these are good, I think it's better to just be aggressive. When in doubt, be aggressive. All 
I can also just EE -E on two and then sit there with it. Sounds pretty good. We'll keep this. Uh, they didn't ley line me, which is gas. All right, so we're going to check out our top card here. If we like it, we're going to keep it. If we don't, we're going to fetch it away. My boy. We are getting nasty, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, this was probably a mistake. I was probably supposed to leave up my removal spell for this exact reason. All right, we just take the SRAM and then cross our fingers. Yeah, that was probably why I was supposed to keep up my removal spell. My turn next turn is probably going to be Dismember the Pure Steel Paladin. And Thought sees the Echoing Truth. They have black in their deck. What do they have black in their deck for? Well, they don't have another land. Oh my god. Yeah, I definitely should have taken the opal. So now... We thought sees the echoing truth. Because the retract doesn't do anything. And dismember this. And then they're not doing anything. And then we land... Then we land Gurmai Angler next turn. Yeah, I super messed this up, but it doesn't look like it looks like we're gonna be okay. Yeah, I think I played this pretty loose. Jeez. So, ditch nasty, ditch this. I'm going to keep this around for next turn. What are they doing? They're just retracting all their stuff. Okay. So now I'm just going to take the opal. Alright, we want to get rid of all of our lands and our baubles. Probably don't need the Thoughtseize anymore. And I guess we'll just get rid of this one. I'll keep the removal spell just in case. Street Wraith is unblockable. Yes, real news. So I'm attacking no matter what. Then we're going to flash back the looting. Okay, he's going for a tiny grave shot. All right. He needs to find red mana and the grave shot pretty quick. So I think if, if they're on a tiny grape shot plan, it's probably worth just keeping these discard spells and firing them off next turn. I don't really want to fetch shock to use a discard spell. Okay. All right, into play tapped. Yeah, for sure. Okay, get rid of the Mox Opal. 
And do I get rid of one of these? Probably. Like, it's basically, like, worst case scenario, I'm trading two life for a draw step. So I think I'm going to. And which one's better? Remove a, do X charge counters on it. Okay, the shield is the best one. You got two draw steps, man. All right, we got nothing, so. Limited, definitely the stitch. Oh, no. No. No, I F6. Mother. I was like, oh, God. God damn it. Now I'm going to lose. They hit the paladin. Son of a bitch. Oh, that was my... Now they're just going off. They're just equipping. God, I'd have another angler in play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I can play both anglers, which is probably my best line of play. God, mother of Jesus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can't play. I can't play both of them. So I should just play one and then leave up Stubborn Denial. God damn it. Didn't think about it. I mean, I deserve that. That was just me being moto lazy. All right. Now they're drawing two cards a turn. Now we're probably dead. They have themselves a 2 8. I did this to myself. We have some good draws. Like, if we draw a Fatal Push to get that Pure Steel Paladin with, then they have to chump. I could have at least played it, not F6, and replayed it on my turn. But I don't know. I don't know how much it changes things. But, like, yes. I just got Moto Lazy and it cost me. Claim the pure steel paladin. Okay. I had drawing three cards a turn. That claim's cool. Yeah, we're just gonna have six. They would only have a two by black red, so it could have changed something. Yeah. And now we're just like super dead. God, that's frustrating. It's all my fault. What did you do? Did you actually miss? Like, what's going on here? You have a fling? No, grape shot. Okay. Yeah, it's all my fault. It's all my fault. All right. Time to refocus in. So, do I want anything else that's different on the player of the draw? Click seems a little better on the play. But I don't know what else I would take out. Click or Lava Man are better on the play. But I don't I don't know what else to take out of here. So
Is Lava Man a better engineer explosives? It probably is. Honestly, on the play, Lava Man's probably a better E. And this click would just come in for one of these, probably. But there's no sense in being less aggressive on the play, so we're like this. Okay, I would like to play first. All right, this hand's pretty good. I'm just gonna bobble my opponent. Okay. I guess we cycle this main phase. We don't really have time to fuck around with the serum visions. Okay. All right, well, we've got like, we got the retracts covered. God, how many colors does this guy have? It's a lot of stubborn denials. I need a land really bad. God. So I think we just wait, and I, I dismember whatever my opponent plays for a creature. Because if they play the Pure Steel Paladin, or the, then it has to resolve, we can hit that. Red, white. SRAM. Okay. So I need to draw a land. Land and I'm good. Okay, gas. So we're just gonna fetch now so that we don't get get got. Should have fetched a watery grave. I'm all over the place right now. I'm gonna leave the Thought Scour in my graveyard. I'm gonna leave the Fatal Push. No, I don't have any Snapcaster Mages in my deck. Yeah, I don't, so it actually doesn't matter. But I guess I'll just leave the Fatal Push in there to make my opponent think about it. It's a four color white deck, just doesn't play green. Pure Steel Paladin, okay. So I'm definitely attacking. I'm going to just use a discard spell and uh, then hold up Stubborn Denial. I wish I'd have fetched the right fucking land. Excuse my language. Yep, just take this retract. Yeah, for eluding. I'm going to play this one. For some, it might let me double stub. Yeah, they have two draw steps for it, basically. We don't know, one of these cards I knew about from, uh, is that their hand? Yeah, it is. I don't even think I play this. Now I have to think, because I might it might be right to play it. So is it better to hold up double stubborn denial or to take a look at one card for a removal spell? I currently have one, 
two. So I have two abrades, two bolts, a push, uh, and a dismember left in my deck. So I have six outs. Is that six outs off a random draw worth putting down double stub? Six out of 42, that's just not worth it. Yeah, we're just going to pass. Come on, baby. Come on. Yes. Yes. We did it, Phil. We did it, Phil. Yeah, Philly boy. Yeah, Philly boy. Yeah, we did it, Phil. We did it. 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 Oh, yes. Oh, yes.